Dude, I think a package just came. Hold up. Bro, look what just came in, man. Let's open this package, baby. What is up guys, it's your boy Steven Kennedy back at it again. Guys, I'm finally coming through with the What's My Baseball Bag vid that you guys have been asking for. You know, last time I did was like a year ago. I've gotten so much more stuff, whether it be I go out and get or some brands have sent to me. Guys, gonna let you guys know everything that's in my baseball bag. But first, let's get it, baby, cue the intro. Alright guys, we are back. Typically on these videos, guys, I like to do a quick Q&A before. You guys ask me a bunch of questions, shoot me DMs. I don't always get a chance to respond right away. I thought I might as well answer them in this video. And then I'm gonna get right into what's my baseball bag. Yeah, let's get straight into it. A few basics if you guys didn't know. My name is Steven Kinez. I play baseball at LA Valley College. That's Los Angeles, not Louisiana. It's a local JUCO over here in the Valley. Are you a junior or senior? So going back to last season, I was a red shirt sophomore because my freshman year I had broken my hand, so that made me a red shirt. And I was gonna be a sophomore and I was gonna be a junior. But Corona, man, it has like screwed up our whole entire plan. We really have no idea like what exactly is gonna go down this next year, but I know I'm gonna stay at LA Valley College this year and we got our year back. So I'm gonna be a Corona redshirt sophomore, dude. It's gonna be so weird. I feel like I've been in Juco forever. <laughs> what is your workout routine, dad? Guys, right now I kind of just do basic lifts and everything, especially during Corona and quarantine time. I've gained a little bit more muscle right now. Right now I'm wearing like the Schmedium. This is a larger, it's like all shrunken down. Then I went from like 165-ish mid season to 185 right now, approaching 190. 190 was my goal, still is my goal. You know, dude, basically just compound lift squat bench deadlift the basics and stuff and with some other hypertrophy exercises after that comment down below if you guys think i should make a workout plan for you guys i have a free one link in my bio it's called project beast it's kind of outdated though right now it's a little starting point it has a little bit too much volume for my taste uh but i did that in high school so yeah comment down if you guys think i should release project beast 2.0 what is my recruiting story and guys so i went to providence high school it was kind of a small division six high school we were a really good team we played good competition yeah providence down in burbank we did pretty solid but dude nowadays everything is online man like if you're stud if you have tools and everything people are eventually going to see you if you use the right resources so basically you guys know perfect game it's like a showcase platform went to a perfect game uncommitted prospect showcase i did really well my goal was to throw 90 miles per hour i threw exactly 90 my goal was to run under a 760 i ran a 695 or something like that and then i did really well in batting practice i did okay during games but that was good enough to get me a nine rating on perfect game and then so i kind of blasted it to a bunch of colleges that i thought could use me and i thought was a good fit for myself and then i ended up getting recruited to arkansas tech university you guys want to watch some of those vlogs like definitely go ahead binge watch on my channel and yeah love my time at Arkansas Tech then I ended up finding myself at LA Valley for a couple of reasons I have a video on that but not getting too much into it yeah LA Valley is where I'm at now and couldn't be happier so next question how hard does the average Juco pitcher throw uh guys I'd say honestly anywhere from like it could get like down to like 78 ish all the way up to 95 like Juco is kind of all over the place most like number one starters and stuff throw at least 85 plus you have new merch coming out guys if you didn't know Valley Boys is my brand my mission is to keep on working hard keep on inspiring others to do so keep on working when nobody's watching no matter what the haters say man if you do that you're a valley boy yeah this is our first design we did pretty solid in sales there's like only a couple of shirts left in a couple sizes make sure to go check out if your guys' sizes are available below at valleyboys.shop yeah no we're definitely gonna have new designs coming soon i've been just trying to stay on top of everything youtube baseball wise valley boys wise so it's a lot to juggle but uh more designs coming soon baby make sure to follow the valley boys la instagram account by the way posting a lot of good content over there Hey, Jewel says, do a home run derby with the Beezer bat. That would be sick. Dude, that would actually be awesome, man. Right now, I think we're in the process of like filming the next home run derby. We're trying to look for a field because everything's closed in Los Angeles. Yeah, and then we'll do a separate one with just like illegal bats. I feel like that'd be hilarious. Before going out there and grinding, do you get in a certain headspace or just go for it? Uh, guys, honestly, half the battle is kind of just like getting yourself outside or getting yourself to do it. And then once you're there, you'll be like, dude, I didn't get up here for nothing. Like, I'm just going to work my butt off and get that working. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'd say like getting there is like half the battle battle but like once you're there it does help to have like a good music playlist i don't know man like i think you just got to have that drive in you just go hard everything you do man and you'll get rewarded so so yeah it's my it's my sappy advice baseball never existed what do you think you would be doing i don't know man i'd probably end up doing like fitness or something like that like my guy jesse james west make sure you go subscribe to his channel if you guys haven't Dude, i've always loved fitness because it's always helped me for baseball and always gives you more confidence and all that stuff you know so maybe i'd probably do something like that do you know when your season is going to start guys so we got moved from january 30th or something like that because that was last season to April.
real something, man. Corona's really doing damage on our season. I think we got pushed from like 40 games to like 20 games or something like that. And now we're only playing like conference teams. So that's an update on like our season, but that's best case scenario, man. You never know what could happen. Kind of looking at it as a negative light, but looking at it as a positive light, like you want to just keep on training. You want to do the best you can. And you also got to control the things you can control. Like I can't really control if my season gets canceled or if my season gets cut in half, you know? I don't know, man. Just got to make the most out of it. Not being able to be on a field right now for LA Valley. Get to put out more vlogs for you guys. Get to show you what it's like training my everyday life. So yeah, man. Do you think you can take Hunter and Kevon yard? Of course, bro. Oh! Yeah, no, Hunter and Kevon are dope. Uh, dude, I really got to run live at bats with them though, for sure. We'll see what happens, man. I've seen them ball out, man. They can chuck. They're also like both two ways too, man. They're super talented dudes. And, yeah, they're like only in Monterey, like an hour, hour and a half away. So, so yeah, man, we got to run it up soon. Make sure you guys comment down on their stuff. Try to make it happen. Yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get into what's in my baseball bag, baby. I got a lot of stuff for you guys today. Okay, so let's just get right into it. Okay, uh, so I haven't been on a field in a minute, so uh, these are the only cleats I could just find, like, off the top. These are just my standard, like, Adidas, like, white cleats. I wore these a lot during season. I also have a pair of green ones. Let's get into some gloves. Okay, guys, so my best fielding in high school, now field, my best formed glove, to be honest. My senior year of high school was this Rawlings bad boy right here. I had everything relaced. I had it, like, red and black. Super sick. Probably gonna be using this bad boy this season it's old reliable man hard of the hide I also have the good old 44 pro glove this is by far like the dopest one like the most like customized and everything and yeah man this is sick right here the only thing is about it is that it is very Aww. stiff that's the only downside about it man i'm just not really a glove guy gotta give it to my homie josh cam to have him reform it a little bit you know he's the glove guru of our team and yeah next up we got my guy alex custom rawlings this is an infield glove right here it is 11 and a quarter inches alec definitely knows how to form a glove and guys who knows i might be playing slight infield this year my point of view is like you want to know how to get some ground balls you want to be pretty versatile i'm not the tallest guy in the field so you know i kind of just want to know how to do it all to play wherever anybody's needed man you know yes right here that's my guy alex initials and yeah those are like the three gloves that i've been using next up we got the good old sweat towel I always got to use this baby we got the custom four sleeve it's kind of dying right now this is like at least three years old it's Vegas gold it matches with my school, which is pretty sick. We got the Adidas wristband. We got the gargoyle sunglasses right here. Yeah, check these out right here. We got the flip ups. <laughs> The yeah, flippers are sick. They're kind of my go-to sunglasses, to be honest. These Oakleys right here, I have the white M frames and the black M frames, but I popped out the original lenses and I put these persimmons in. So I use these when I hit. And yeah, in case you ever see me wearing orange glasses when I hit, they're hunting glasses. So they help you see reds and stuff. They help you see the seams of the ball. I like to wear them when I hit. And yeah, and then I put these on on the field. This is what they look like. You see like some major leaguers hit with these. You just plop your helmet over it. I feel like it definitely helps. My friend Leo swears by them. And yeah, I think they helped me a lot during the season. We got the clutch G form, baby. Dude, I use this all the time, man. Man, I just got it. The G-Form elbow guard. It's super light, man. Like, literally, if you get hit, like, it doesn't hurt at all. So, like, gives you, like, a lot more confidence at the plate. Just gives you that protection. Also, this is the leg guard. Just plop this baby on. I saw a video that they had, like, where they literally dropped a bowling ball. And it had an egg under it and it didn't break or something. Wow. Some crazy technology that they have, man. So yeah, shout out G-Form. You guys are the goats. Here's my other sunglasses frame. It's the white one. It's the white M frame. These are some lenses I got off of eBay right here. I need to get a new nose piece, so that's why it's just sitting in here. We got my helmets in here. This is my practice helmet right here. The good old Arkansas Tech Rawlings helmet. Yeah, it's just standard helmet. And then this is like my game helmet right here. We got the face piece right here. And we got the Valley sticker. Another Rawlings helmet. Um, I might need to go a size down because this is my guy Brett Marine's helmet. I thought I had the biggest head on the team, but apparently he's like a size higher than me. Shout out Brett for this one. Right now, I've been using the 310 batting gloves. They sent me a bunch of bats that I'll show you guys right now. Yeah, dude, I've been using these batting gloves. Dude, these get the job done, man. I was using Easton batting gloves before this. Mine kind of wore down a little bit. But yeah, 310, definitely the way to go. And also, we got the thumper in here. I just stick it in my batting glove when I'm done hitting. And yeah, you just put it on your thumb when you're hitting. It helps push the bat into your fingertips instead of like choking the barrel. And yeah, it just helps you hit better. Helps you stay on playing more. And yeah, so definitely this is a must use. So shout out, thumper. Plop that baby back in my batting gloves. Here's some Easton's, baby. Got some Franklin's. We got some Valley stirrups right here. These are sweet. We got the gold and the green. I got some standard greens right here. I don't really wear stirrups to be honest, but, uh, but yeah, here we got the green Nike belt. And yeah, that's pretty much all for the equipment. So yeah, let's get into the bats, dude. Probably the most anticipated part of the video. Bro, look at all these bats. I feel so fortunate to say that I have all these bats, to be honest. I didn't even realize I had this much. But yeah, let's get straight into it, man. So uh, the bat that I used this season was the Easton ADV. We got the Voot Grips, man. Shout out Voot Grips, Voot Grips. I think they're the best bat grip in the market right now, man. Lizard skin gets torn down like really fast. 
Vuk Grips is very durable. So yeah, shout out to Vuk Grips. Shout out to Easton. Next, we got the custom good old Marucci. I use this mostly in batting practice because like, I really don't want to risk breaking this in a game. Got the good old Rizzo 44 Pro model. Yeah, man, I've had this bat for so long. Got it back in the GBG days when we had the GBG Marucci discount. We got the good old Cat 7 Connect, man. I loved this bat because it was like so loud and stuff, but then it became illegal because they banned white bats from Juco. So yeah, I don't really use this one anymore. We got the All Black String King. I don't really use this bat that much anymore. I used to use it a lot. I'll probably end up putting it in the rotation again. This bat has plenty of pop, so shout out String King. We got the one and only Stud bat right here for studs only. Definitely, guys, got to make sure to check them out. My uncle's company, Stud Bats, dude. I love that name. Everybody's trying to be a stud, man. It's like kind of a heavy bat, but like, dude, if you make contact on this thing, you're going to hit jacks. So yeah, shout out Stud Bats, dude. Make sure to go follow on Instagram. And we got the custom 310 Bats, baby. Look how sweet that is, dude. Let's go on this one. We got the Wizard Skin Bat Grip that matches the bat. We got the Burnt Middle. We got the 310 right here. Look at that. We got the Valley Boys. Dude, I just told them everything I wanted, and they put it together, man. So if you guys want a crazy custom bat, hit up 310 Baseball Bats. It's so clutch, man. And then I went for the simple look on this one with the gray handle, white 310, white riding, custom model Steven Kinez, and got the green right there, baby. Like I said, 310 Bats, baby. Make sure to go follow on Insta. Super clutch. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You guys hear something? Dude, I think a package just came. Hold up. Bro, look what just came in, man. We got the custom B5 Easton. Dude, I'm about to open this baby up, man. Okay, okay, we got the B5 Big Barrel hat. Perfect hat matches with my team. This is dope. Got the trucker hat. Dude, we got the Easton Pro Big Barrel shirts. Came with two of them. Got the Schmedium. You guys already know what it is. That is clutch. We got the poster. Let me open this baby up. Oh, look at this thing, man. Take it up the whole screen. Shows Mark McGuire, Bo Jackson, all the classics using this bat. Oh, dude, we got the one and only Easton B5 Pro Big Barrel Bat. Dude, I'm so excited to use this bat. Guys, I kind of already used it. Check out the next video that I'm going to have with live at bats and I use it. And yeah, man, super excited to show you guys what this is like. This is like literally one of the best bats of all time, so I'm super glad Easton brought it back. Yeah, man, I'm totally going to show you guys what's up with this. But yeah, guys, that's going to be that in the video today. That's everything that's in my baseball bag, man. Thank you guys for sticking around. New videos coming out ASAP. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram at Steven Kinez. Make sure to go slap a like button on this video. Make sure to go subscribe. Really helps me out, especially kind of gradually coming back on YouTube. Yeah, man, that's going to be the end of the video today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.